if you wanna save half your grocery budget, there's one thing I can teach you that will change everything. And it's gonna be difficult because it's an entire paradigm shift. But if you change your way of thinking and use this method of grocery shopping, I guarantee you, you will save money. I've been doing this for 15 years. I'm gonna take you with me step by step today in store at home, show you exactly what I do and how you too can save money on your groceries here in 2023 with my help. So without further ado, let's get going. Oh, give me one of these and let's get shopping. In week one of changing your way of shopping, you're gonna come with your standard list of what you're going to buy anyway. So my list is pretty short this week. I need sriracha, barbecue sauce, and sour cream. Number two, you are going to pull out the ad, the weekly ad for this store. You're gonna purchase your normal items that you would purchase anyway, but you will also pick out the items on the ad that are spectacular deals, and we will stock up on them for future weeks. So things I'm noticing, the boneless, skinless chicken breasts at $1.99 a pound, this is a stock up price. Most of the things I'm gonna recommend to you today, you can freeze them so they'll really last a long time. If you're into that frozen pizza life, I'm seeing my favorite freshetta pizza right here for $3.99. This is a great deal. The thin crust garden veggie, the best frozen pizza. I'm also seeing $1.99 a pound for spare ribs right here. Ribs are one of my favorite things. So this is also a stock up price as well. I'm noticing down here the bacon, $2.77 a pound. This is an unmatched price on bacon. All of these things can be purchased in advance and frozen for later. So we have our short list of stock up items for this week. Let's go get a regular list and stock up items and always keep your eyes peeled for clearance markdown tags. Let's get shopping. I'm here looking at the chicken clearance stickers with like bony and chicken. Do you remember when they used to throw away the chicken wings? Now it's more expensive than everything else. $4.50 a pound on clearance. But I did find a package of cage-free chicken thighs for $1.80 a pound. It freezes great, super versatile. You can do a lot with it. Not the best price ever, but this pork shoulder butt roast is $2.69 a pound. I can't even pick it up. This is an enormous cut of meat. You can use that for four, five, six dishes. I have seen it go on sale for cheaper, so it's not my favorite, but it's okay. And this is also a great deal. Half pork loin uh, boneless. Now look, they're saying buy one, get one free, but make sure you know what the regular price is and what that will bring it down to. So if you can find two that are about the same weight, that'll come down to $2 a pound, and that is a great price. And I would definitely pick up one or two of these and stick them in the freezer for later. Great, great deal. I just have to interrupt this video real quick because I wanted to talk about building up a pantry. Now, I know these days there are quite a few of different ways of eating, whether there are allergies or diets that you're following, food preferences. I know some people can't get to the grocery store to build up a basic pantry or their stores are limited. I understand all of those things. I'm here to tell you that Thrive Market is the answer, my friends. They are sponsoring today's video. So if you want an alternative way of stocking up on your pantry items from the comfort of your own home, consider Thrive Market. First of all, because they have awesome products. And second of all, they are going to give my viewers a great deal today. That will be the first link down in the doobly-doo if you wanna go check that out. Thrive Market is an online marketplace, so you can search by sales, which is one of my favorite ways to do it. You can search by products, or you can even search by way of eating. So if you're a gluten or a vegetarian, or you're doing Whole30, or if you're keto, you can search by that and they'll give you all of the foods that fall under those items. If you get the annual membership instead of the monthly, it is the cheapest way to do it. It comes out to only $5 a month. And if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money in the first 30 days. So it's a risk-free trial for you. And even better, for every paid membership, they gift a membership to a family in need, first responder or veteran. I've gotten every order I've ever purchased in two days and I live in the middle of nowhere. All of the packaging is recyclable and they will be the cheapest you can find for those products. They guarantee their prices so much that if you ever find their product cheaper anywhere else, they will match the price. And you don't even have to put on pants and go outside. So if you wanna get that deal, it's thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom. They're gonna give you 30% off of your first order plus a free gift up to 60 bucks. It's the first link down below if you wanna go check that out. thrivemarket.com slash frugalfitmom. 30% off, 
free gift. You can't go wrong. Thank you to Thrive Market. Let's get back to the store. When it comes to the produce section, it's a little loud over here, sorry. You wanna pick up your produce for the week that happens to be on sale. For example, this cauliflower is $1.69 a pound, whereas the broccoli right below it is $2.50 a pound. So this week, I'm gonna pick the cauliflower instead of the broccoli. Another option that you can always use is pick up frozen vegetables. They don't go bad. They're usually about a dollar a pound. It's a really, really easy way to add a vegetable to a meal, throw something into a stir fry. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. Of course, stick to less expensive vegetables. Right now, not peach season, so won't be buying peaches. We're coming into strawberry season, so I'm gonna keep an eye open for strawberry sales. I said mom has a special eye for me. For, for what? I didn't see any, and the one, the one love in this whole aisle, she was like, <laughs> I, I don't know how you do it. The thing is, because I know this store and I've been shopping at this store for multiple years, wandering the aisles, taking a few minutes, looking for these stickers, because I know at this store, this is what they look like. You gotta exercise your eyeballs so you can see the stickers. I can do a quick peruse of aisles and I know on the bread aisle, sometimes they'll sticker the bread and leave them where they sit instead of moving them to a bakery clearance or a clearance table. And at $1.20 for a loaf of thick sliced whole grain, bread, I feel like this will work really well. This is also another great item to stock up on because it freezes very nicely. For week one of shopping, we are done at the store. We picked up not only our shopping list for the week, we also picked up some sale items and some clearance items for week two and week three that we're not going to be utilizing right now. I spent $82 on today's grocery haul, which included items I needed for this week's meal plan. Yours might look different. The things that you buy normally, right? That's kind of where we're starting because we're starting from scratch on the buying ahead part of it. So first of all, I have my condiments over here. I have two types of barbecue sauces. That is a little overboard. You don't need to, but if you've never tried the Stubbs spicy and you like it spicy, uh, can recommend. But condiments themselves, they last a very long time. You don't have to buy them very often. So these are great things to uh, purchase in advance, especially when they're a good price. Next up, I mentioned the frozen veggies in the store. I got these Mookie Mommies. I have no idea if that's how you say it. It just sounds funny. Because I love these, I like to have them just on hand for an easy side. I also have some miso broth, some pad thai noodles. I thought I could do like an easy soup with these. But because they're frozen, I can let those sit for six weeks and deal with it later. Next up, I have my proteins kind of laid out in front of me. I have my two packages of ribs. I can put these in the freezer just like this. They're already like vacuum sealed up like this. And again, I don't have to worry about these until next week or the week after. I bought them because they were a great price. And so when I want ribs, they're there waiting for me. I don't have to pay $4 a pound or $5 a pound. Same deal with the chicken. Now I have absolutely put this package just like this in the freezer. However, I have six basically adults. I have three teenagers, almost four, six people in my family. So this is kind of one meal unless I shred it up. But if you have a smaller family, feel free to break this down, wrap it in saran wrap, put it in a quart size Ziploc baggie, you know, maybe four thighs in one would be fine. And then freeze those, remember to date them and then what they are. But again, I'm gonna put it in the freezer, I don't need to worry about this now. So these three packages, this is not a ton of room in your freezer, unless you also add my three loaves of bread. You can meal plan with it right now or save it for later via the freezer. I've been freezing bread like this, all bread products, forever, for like 20 years. I put it in the freezer just like this, in this bag, blop, just like that. And if you're not a big bread eater, you can just stick this in the fridge and pull out your two slices for toast in the morning. It will last so long. Another thing you can do is actually just use it for the meal plan this week. Maybe adjust what you originally had. You found clearance bread, so now we are doing French toast. A breakfast for dinner situation. Have you ever done like paninis for dinner? That's a huge hit in my house. Grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup. Blah, on the tomato soup. I have never found a recipe I've liked, ever. And then the rest of my haul was just vegetables, fruit, some sour cream, because I was out, some milk, that's about it because I have a fully stocked pantry. I've done whole videos on how to start a pantry, what you need in a beginner pantry from Dollar Tree and Walmart. So if you wanna check out that video, I will leave it down below. Okay, this is it for week one, but we have some items stocked up now, the bread and the meat 
and some condiments. I'm also assuming a basic pantry, so I will see you on week two. Welcome to week two of your meal planning. Now, I like to approach week two with a few items. Number one, I have my shopping list, and you can do something as simple as a blank piece of paper with a line drawn down the middle of it like this. So you'll do your meal plan on one side and your shopping list on the other side. You could also use your phone for your shopping list. So I will take 10 minutes right now and check out the sales on the ads for this week. Now your stores that are not going to have these sales are going to be Walmart. Walmart will not have sales like this. Winco will also not have sales like this. It is going to be your more expensive stores. So the first step is as far as the lunches and breakfasts go, write down your normal list. Do your normal list that you would always do, but you are gonna keep in mind that we stocked up on that chicken and the ribs from last week. So those are options for dinner. So start with your regular list and I'm gonna make note of all of the things that I think are good prices. So here at my Kroger store, I am seeing $1.48 for green grapes. Green grapes are the superior grape, in case you did not know. I see 73% lean ground beef at $1.99 a pound. Now, 73% lean is a pretty fatty cut of beef, but it makes great burgers. So $1.99 a pound is not too shabby for a stock up price. It's great to have on hand something like this. And when's the last time you saw ground beef for under $2 a pound? Not forever. So I will also put ground beef on my list for $1.99 a pound. I do like to write the prices down next to the item. So if I check another store and there's a better price, I'll make note of that. Two pounds of breaded butterfly shrimp for $8. That's $4 a pound for shrimp that's already been breaded and butterflied. That's a great price. 18 ounces of blueberries for $2.99. If you're into that blueberry life, maybe now's the time to stock up, freeze a few of them, keep them for fresh as well. Cereal for $1.29 for post honey bunches of oats almost a dollar a box with no coupons or anything. Easy, easy, easy. Now this one is a digital coupon, but as long as you have the app on your phone, it takes two seconds. It's super easy to do. I'm also noticing cheese, Tillamook cheese, 350 a pound. Might as well get one or two of those. They last forever. Okay, that took me like four minutes to go through this first store. So now I'll go through the next store. Like if you have an Albertsons or a Publix, sometimes Aldi has sales that come out. You have a local store like, um, like a Hy-Vee or something like that. You can look at that. I'm gonna look at my local store. This is just in Idaho. Now I don't shop at this store very often because their prices in general are quite high, but sometimes they do have a great deal. So I'm just making note of that. So my local store has one pound, no. 28 ounces of peanut butter for $1.49. Wow. I'm not buying peanut butter because I have too much in my stockpile right now, but if I were to be looking, this would absolutely be on my list. And you can buy five of them at one time. Like now we're talking about a stock up, something you can get super cheap and then use for the next year. This store has 80% lean ground beef for $2.79 a pound. So if you're more in the market for an 80% instead of a 73, it's slightly higher, but it's still under $3 a pound. I still think that would be an amazing stock up. I've got carrots and cucumbers for 88 cents. And I have a five pound bag of potatoes. I do live in Idaho. What are potatoes where you guys live? Is 250 for yellow potatoes. That's pretty good. Albertsons has chicken breast bone in for 99 cents a pound. One pound of pasta for 88 cents. This would be a great chance to stock up on pasta. And last week I missed out on the bacon at Kroger because it was all gone. This one is the same price, 377 per pound of bacon at Albertsons. That is a fabulous per pound price. So my peruse through the three grocery store ads on my computer took less than 10 minutes. I now have a full list of products that are on sale this week. So my options are I can meal plan based on what is on sale or I can meal plan what I already have and some things I just like in general and stock up on these items for weeks three, four, five. How about I do a combination of these items? Some things that I'm definitely purchasing this week based on the sales. Produce wise, I'm doing the green grapes at $1.49 a pound, tomatoes at $1.99 for the like cherry tomatoes, the one box of the post honey bunches of oats, 
$1.29. I think the limit is five. I would buy all five and buy all of the milk, add in those blueberries, and you are set for breakfast for the whole week for like under 20 bucks, assuming you didn't have anything to begin with. I've got the two pound block of cheese for right at $7, which is pretty good. The peanut butter for $1.49. Those last so long. It's a great pantry staple. And then the pasta at 88 cents a pound, I would get five or 10 of those just for future. Obviously when you're making a meal plan based what's on sale, you do have to consider what your family likes. So I can give you a sample one of what my family likes, things that we enjoy eating. So I would do the shrimp, with baked rice and a salad. And I only like to meal plan maybe four or five dinners for the week because we typically have leftovers or we do an easy night like like BLTs. In fact, I'll put BLTs on here because the bacon is on sale and the tomatoes are on sale. I have ground beef and pasta are great prices. So I would love to do some kind of homemade ragu sauce with pasta. And because bacon is also on sale and milk and pasta still, I'm gonna do two nights of pasta this week and one's gonna be a pasta carbonara. I also have the chicken breasts, the carrots, the potatoes. You could do a wide assortment of like a chicken noodle soup, a chicken casserole, barbecued chicken with baked potatoes on the sides and another salad or some roasted carrots in the air fryer. It's my husband's favorite way to eat them. Okay, I just put together five meals based on what's already on sale and I didn't even touch my stockpile from last week. I bought chicken thighs last week and the two packages of ribs. So I could still save those. And these deals are so good. Maybe I get two packages of the chicken breasts. I use one this week and I use one next week. That's another stockpile. You can freeze any of these proteins. This cheese, you can freeze that. You can even freeze the milk. If you're not big milk drinkers, buy it on sale and chuck that in the freezer. I think we should hit the store with our new list and pick up a few things for week two and another stockpile for the future. Now, remember, I'm only at this store for the vegetables mostly because I already have peanut butter, but you do want to make sure you check out the clearance bakery racks because I'm seeing these made in store loaves of bread two dollars off so it's a dollar 99 a loaf that's pretty good for something like this i have this like english toasting bread i also like to keep my eyes out for clearance tags i saw some chicken for a great price i'll keep looking but with the veggies i'm essentially done in here it's time to hit the next store sometimes people will get on to me about going from store to store yes it takes a little bit of extra time but if you're super super serious about cutting grocery bill you do have to shop at more than one store fortunately this store to the other store is like a mile so it's not that much wear and tear it's not that much gas it just takes a few extra minutes to get the best deals so I'm gonna do a quick run around looking for clearance stickers um, if I don't find any, I'm gonna stick with the vegetables I have. We'll head out and going to Albertsons next. Here is my haul today. Now, as I said earlier, if I was actually starting from nothing, I would have been purchasing all of the things I mentioned to you earlier in the video. Because I have a lot of those things, I'm not going to purchase them now. I spent $15 at the first store and $45 at Albertsons. Albertsons was quite a bit because of this. These were a little over $11 each. And if I was a beginner at this, I maybe wouldn't purchase this at all or only one and spend the bulk of my money stocking up on other cheaper proteins like the chicken, perhaps some more cheese, but because I am fully stocked personally on all of those items, bacon is not something I see a good price on often, and I really enjoy a thick cut piece of bacon. Uh, so I love to pick these up and stick them in the freezer to meal plan later. In fact, because I see bacon and potatoes, I'm already thinking Zupa Toscana copycat at home. It's one of our favorites, it's delicious. And I love being able to have like sausage and bacon on hand so I can whip up this soup. It's a family favorite. Other things I got at Albertsons was the cheese. Oh, Italian style, I meant to get mozzarella. Oh well, this one's fine. I wanted to make some homemade pizza as I have some pizza sauce and some pepperoni in my fridge just didn't have any cheese to put on top of it. So I did get one of these. Also, these freeze amazing. You saw the cucumbers in the store, the potatoes in the store, 
and the carrots in the store. I did get a few packages of angel hair, mostly because this is my daughter's favorite pasta shape of all of the shapes and I didn't have any. So if she's gonna reach for pasta, like if she's gonna make dinner for everyone, she's gonna pick this one. So if I was a newbie at stockpiling stuff, because these were only 88 cents each, I probably would have picked up 10 of them and put them in the pantry for some long-term food prep for the future. Moving into the third week of stockpiling, you're gonna do the same thing that you've been doing, but now on week three, you have a serious stockpile of stuff. You have several packages of chicken, some ground beef that you have stocked up on, some bacon, you have some pantry items, probably some remaining vegetables. We have some pasta in the pantry. We're really, really making a dent. So in week three, we will kick off the meal planning with, hey, let's have ribs for dinner one night. I already have them and the barbecue sauce. I just need a few sides. And then we're cooking something with our chicken. The next night we're cooking something with our ground beef. So that's how we're beginning the meal plan on week three, but also checking those ads again, take 10 minutes, and make your list of things that are on deep, deep discount and add the fresh items as filler for the week. And remember to keep on stocking up on the great deals so you can save money long-term. Now, this is not a quick fix when it comes to your grocery shopping, but over several weeks and months of stocking up on things when they are very, very inexpensive, and then pulling from that later, you will be shocked at how low your grocery bill and budget will be in one, two, and three months down the road. Now, I've been shopping like this for 15 years, so my grocery budget is routinely extremely low because I have amassed such a backlog of pantry items of things in my freezer because I'm constantly eyeballing what's on sale, what can I store for later, and then meal planning from that. If you love grocery hauls and you wanna check any more of those out, I will leave them down below. I have a ton of videos on cooking. If you wanna see some pantry cleanout videos for 2023, I have a full playlist of those as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and don't forget to check out Thrive Market if you wanna pick up that 30% off plus a free gift, first link down below. I hope this video was really helpful to you in figuring out how to shop the way that I do to save as much money on your grocers as you can and still eat delicious food. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Until next time, happy eating. <laughs> Stop. Haley, get out of the shop. Oh, <laughs> We're doing puns, so I'm so glad that we have great traffic. Aren't you glad that I'm helping you with this? I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop that.